guys, it's Carly back with another video and today I got more pickups for you guys. This is stuff from a pawn shop. Um, I went in there and they gave me a pretty good deal on a bunch of stuff. So I will show you that right now. I got all this stuff for $40 cash and out the door, no problem. So to begin, we'll go with the retro stuff first, I guess retro. Uh, first thing I got is a Nintendo 64 red controller. Thumbstick's a little wobbly. It's not as wobbly as some, but it is kind of wobbly. Um, but it does work. I tested it. I may switch out the thumbsticks. I'm not sure because this is just going to be like my two-player one. And the second player can just deal with a wobbly thumbstick. I don't know yet. I might swap them out. Get one on eBay and swap them out, but I don't know yet. But yeah. Whoops. Next, I got Army Men's Sarge's Heroes. This is the first one. The second one is the one I played a bunch, but I picked it up anyways. Pretty fun game. Although you need a uh, controller pack to save the game for this one. Next, I got Dr. Mario for the Game Boy. Um, it's got some markings on the back, but not bad. The labels looks good. Um, I tried to play this. I suck at it. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. So, but yeah. Got that one pretty cool and then I got a original Xbox game amped it is complete it is the platinum hits version but that's okay the disc is in great condition if I can get it out excellent and there's a tree uh, great condition complete Next, I got three, I think, yeah, three Sonic games. The first one had a $10 price tag on it. Right there. But like I said, I got all this stuff for $40. There's the price tag. Uh, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. It's player's choice, but that's okay. It's complete. Tested and working. Pretty neat. Looks like it's got a bunch of game modes on it. And you can actually play on the... You can hook up your Game Boy Advance and play on it. If you have the cable, I'm sure. The next one is Sonic Adventure Director's Cut. Complete. And then the last one from the pawn shop is, which had an $18 price tag on it, but like I said, I got it all for $40, is the Sonic Gems Collection. And this is the one with some Sega games on it. Really good condition. Complete as well. Although, it says it comes with a CD. So I don't know if it's supposed to come with a separate CD or if it's just all on this one disc. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below. Because if it does supposed to come with another CD, then it's not complete. But yeah, I got all of that for $40 at that pawn shop. So I thought that was pretty good because the dude collected games too, so he was willing to make me a deal. And then from GameStop, I went... And I traded in a bunch of games that they were actually giving good prices for, like that I would get eBay prices on, which was like Minecraft and some uh, extra Sonic DS games that I had. So I actually got good trading credit for it. So I went ahead and did that, and I got some games back. I ended up getting... This is my um, thing. I turned in Sonic Lost World, Sonic Generation, Sonic All-Stars, Far Cry 4, Minecraft, UFC, Undisputed, and... A couple Bioshock games that I had laying around, and I ended up getting $58 in trading credit, so I thought that was pretty cool. And with that, I got some PS3 games. I don't even have a PS3 yet, guys, but I do plan on getting one this summer. So to go ahead and get a jump start on that, I got the God of War Origins Collection, which comes with the PSP games, right? It's PSP games. 
Chains of Olympus and Ghost of Sparta. I've never played any God of War games. So, I think I played a little bit of the first one on p the PS3. Like the, what's it called? Where you, you can pay to play PS3 games on your PS4. But the lag was really bad because I don't have very good internet connection and it's like streaming it to you while you play. So I didn't uh, end up beating it. But I'm looking forward to playing the God of War games when I get a PlayStation 3. The next game I got was Bayonetta for the PlayStation 3. I've been wanting this game, whether it was for play PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360. But I went ahead and got it for PlayStation 3. It's complete. Most 360 ones I see aren't complete. And um, it wasn't a bad deal. It was a... Uh, $13 and then this one was $11.69 but these were buy two I had to buy two get one free thing so I ended up buying two of these and get one free and then the next one I got is the infamous collection for $13.50 it comes with the first two games so I bought these two two of these and got one free and then I also got new the Kingdom Hearts 2.8 game. I also never got to play the Kingdom Hearts games. So this is my way of playing those. So I don't have to play on the PlayStation 2. Although one of these that came with. I don't know much about them. But uh, only has the cutscenes. But I heard that the one that has only the cutscenes for isn't very good. So I may end up get getting that one. For uh. I think they had these for PlayStation 3 too. But one of those for PlayStation 2 as well. So, I got all this stuff with my trading credit. So, I thought that was pretty good. An actual good deal from GameStop. Which doesn't happen too often. So, when it does, I like to take advantage. But that's it. That's the pickups. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace. Happy gaming.